Hello, guys. I'm having to re-record this because I forgot to actually start XSplit. <laughs> Good thing I didn't save. Uh, so. Just, need to, we need to head for the dwarves, right? Well, first thing we're gonna actually do is do a little class changing. I decided I want to play around with the monks a bit. A bit. Good stuff. Okay. And equipment for the monk. Ribbon. Boom and garb. And shirt gloves. Good stuff. He's gonna become really strong really quick. By that I mean I'm just gonna throw our job levels up. <laughs> I'm also gonna turn off the encounter rate because there's a lot of enemies to run up and I need to go pretty far out to get to an extra city. So... That's good, that's good. Characters, character slot one. Job. Job adjustment phase zero, please. And... The monk gets, does more damage the higher the job level, so level 99 monk is going to absolutely trash shit right now. Okay, character slot 2, job. All right. Good stuff. So now we should have... Good. Okay. That's what I wanted. Um, and what did we turn off? We can rate. There. All right. First thing you want to do is go east. Your destination is west, but there's something extra here to the east. It actually takes a while, so you're going to run into a lot of battles. Just going between the places, that's kind of why I turn it off now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. East and then south. Eventually, you'll run into the town of Jazal, which sells Jazal greens. It's got little cute little sheep. Okay. Get some spells. And of course, we're cool, so we're gonna beef up these. Uh, where are you? Highlighted item pointer. Said stuff. There we go. Can we sell spells? We don't need. I picked one that wasn't worth much, huh? Oh well.
Cool. And let's see, there's something up here. Talk about the fat chocobo. So just all green so we can summon him. More uh, chocobo forest. This old man, he sells magic keys. We don't, we won't need them because we have. The, you can use the thief class to do the same thing. But he also has a shuriken. And shurikens are fucking awesome. They're the best item for a ninja to throw. Okie dokie. Now that we got that out of the way, let's teach some magic. Learn some new spells. We get break, which is like my favorite black magic. Well, oh, one of. I just like how it's an instant kill. And like, you almost never, like you, it, it works on almost anything except for bosses. And then some bosses it still works on. Did I only buy one break? Silly me. We'll get that again. Excuse me, tough guy coming through. You know what? I'll make some money back. You know what? No, I won't because I can just set my money if I really want to. I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. remove magic, can't you? Yeah. She'll learn all three of hers. Good stuff. Oh, wait, yeah. Let's set my money. Let's give it a zero. Why not? Alright, making our way downtown. Nothing too exciting here, just gotta get back to them dwarves. Dwarves. big trouble okay so I'll say this again there's a side quest that activates once you've gotten the last letter from to Papa <coughs> and that's a uh, children missing it's a very good reward for actually going through with it Let's go the rogue. He stole a horn. Smart he is, but a rascal too. Uh, what items do we have? What, I mean, what, what attack items? We have Zeus's wrath. Cool. Let's, let's do this. Let's kill myself. 
myself more of those. Just for safety's sake, you know? I like the attack items. They're actually really useful in this game because there's a class that can utilize them. It's like a big deal that they're decent. Okay, that should give us plenty of those to use. Nice. Even though we have infinite items, I always worry about using one, using it when I haven't turned it on or something. Their shop has ice gear. That's not really useful for us. All right. Oh, we have to talk to the guy by the shrine first. But I did. He's the one that literally asked us to do it. We can't go after him because dwarves can't swim, but your humans, humans can swim. He does with your amphibious abilities. I like the way they put that. I think it's something magical just because they're rock people. Oh wait, we get a little cutscene here. Oh no, are we turning ourselves into toads again? Yup. Shit. We're in. Let's make this quick. Gold needle. Who wants to be a gillionaire? Got an achievement for having a lot of money. Okay. Skit, scat, skittle, skabobble. I don't know what he's supposed to have in his hand. Is that a snake? It's a snake. It's like, what has he got in his hand? He punches you with a viper, I guess. I don't know. See if we, let's see if he, any of these status effects will stick. Or if he's stupid enough to hit my monk. He did not. Alright, come on. Just instant kill him. Okay. That'll do. It's always the monks that, that just, like, go out of control with a little bit of push. Just a little cheating push, and they just explode.
Down he goes. Oh wait, level 24, so the next boss fight will probably push us over. Yep, I think so. Cool. Oh, you ever get the feeling you're uh, being followed? I'm really, really surprised our characters don't see this perfectly circular shadow chasing them. Like, they must never turn around the entire way back. Like, never look behind them. He doesn't make any noise? Now, I guess if he can be invisible, he could probably mask the sound of his footsteps. Well, he floated. He did float before. I'll give him that. Still. We're gonna go into a city now, and no one's gonna notice this until it's too late. Lally ho, lally ho, thank you for returning the horn. What an ingenious plan. Now how'd he jump on that if he was always behind us? not bump into us. Whatever. Why do you keep stealing the horns in the first place? Good question. Fire crystal, huh? Sounds like a big boss battle and a power-up. You know it, the dungeon's just right above us here. Now this damages you every second instead of every step, so you have to be you wanna be really quick getting out of there. Because it does pretty good damage. These would all be really great items if we didn't have the best weapons, you know. Obviously, elemental sword in a fire dungeon is pretty useful. being barehanded was not better, that'd be great. I guess the claws are useful when you're low level, but monks will quickly get over, get much stronger than, you know, what the claws can give you. some heavy footsteps. Oh, well, he doesn't look the same at all. I guess the snake kind of took over. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Tally. 
Let's nuke this motherfucker. I dare you to hit him. It's not a kill him. He had 57,000 or 5,700 HP, so they are getting a little tougher now. There we go. Perfect level 25 with our first job class. Warriors of Light. I will bless you with the light contained within my eternal flames. This is one eternal flame for your justice. 